Hi, Calculus. Let's explore the derivative on Desmos. So it's going to be very handy to get good with Desmos uh, when you're learning calculus. So let's just graph a function x squared, and then we'll graph the derivative of x squared. So to graph a function, we just name it. We'll call it f of x, and we'll say it equals x squared. And that's a pretty familiar shape to us. And then to find, to graph the derivative of f of x, we just can create a new function. We can say g of x equals the derivative of f of x. And the notation for that is we just say f prime. That's the apostrophe, which is you know on the quotation key right next to return, but it's it's the quote quote key without shift. So f prime of x is the derivative of f of x, and it graphs it nicely here for us in this straight blue line. We know from the power rule that that is 2x, and so this line really is just 2x. Um, and this is our x squared. So let's just kind of like think about does this make sense? Um, and it'll be helpful to have a point when we're exploring this. So let's just add a point. Let's say parentheses, let's just say x sub 1, comma, and that, that's the x, and then we'll make the y, we'll make the y f of x sub 1 and then close our parentheses so we've got our point and it's asking us if we want to add a slider let's add a slider so we get the green slider let's just make it red so it's clear that that point is on that red graph and there we go so we can now slide our point around let's show the label of that point so we can see the coordinates and let's set our slider so that we're just moving by one each time make it nice and simple. Okay, so let's think about it for a second. So if we are here on our original function x squared, and we're at x equals 1, the value of the function is 1. Does that make sense? So 1 times 1 is 1, so yes. And But the slope, it looks like the slope is 2. Okay, yeah, so if we kind of eyeballed it, the slope at this point right here how quickly is this function changing? Yeah, maybe, sure, 2 looks good. We can tell, looking at the red function, that the slope gets steeper. As, as we go farther and farther out, as x gets greater, the slope gets steeper. So let's test that. Let's go, let's set x equal to 3. So we'll use our slider. We make x 3. And we're up here. So at 3, the y value of our function is 9. That makes sense. 3 times 3 is 9. Okay. And what's the derivative at x equals 3? It looks like it's 6. So yeah, 3, 6. Yep. So that's telling us that the slope right here is 6. So yes, when we were down at 1, the slope was 2. And when we're up at 3, the slope is 6. So yes, it is much steeper. Let's check one more point. Down at 0, what do you think the slope of the line is at 0? Well, you can just read it off the blue graph. But down here at 0, 0, it looks like you know the, the slope of the tangent line would be horizontal. So the slope of this red curve is basically 0. And let's move our point out of the way. And we can see that, yes, indeed, the derivative at x equals 0 is 0. So that means that the slope at x equals 0 is 0. Okay, then when we go negative, what's the value of the slope? So if we're, if we're here down at uh, negative 1, which is the opposite of over here at positive 1, the slope is the same, it's just the opposite, right? So the slope here was 2, so the slope here looks like it should be negative 2, and sure enough, if we look down at the derivative at 2, the slope is negative 2. And as we increase, as we go more and more negative, the slope of the red line gets steeper and steeper, and that's reflected in the graph of the derivative as we go farther and farther away from x equals 0 in the negative direction, the slope becomes more and more negative. It becomes steeper and remains negative. Okay, so just playing around with the, uh, s the derivative on Desmos. It's just as simple as defining your function and then using the prime notation, set a new function equal to the prime notation of that original function, and then you have the graph of the, deriva of the derivative. Okay, hope that helps play around with that till you get comfortable.